came crashing down have damaged countless homes and cars. LG&E also telling us tonight that this is the third most significant event, damaging event in the past 20 years. WHS 1119's Bobby McSwine and photojournalist Ian Hardwit went to several locations tonight. They're joining us live from Old Louisville with more on that tree blocking the road. Bobby, what are you seeing? Well, Doug, much like earlier, I still see this huge tree here on Oak and Brook blocking this entire road. The, the cores are tangled up in the branches, and lg &E tells us tonight there are about 1,400 downed wires across Jefferson County. There are 450 crews out in the community, and the utility tells us that more um, companies are coming from out of state to help Kentucky and Louisville. Now, it is much darker than it was before. We already saw several cars come up and have to turn around, not seeing this huge tree right here. So you please, you have to be careful if you're out traveling in old Louisville tonight. The Lord loves me because we missed it by an, this tree. That's crazy. Missed it by a, an inch, honestly. High winds brought down trees and power lines all across Kentuckyana, including here in Old Louisville at Oak and Brook Street. The power lines a tangled web within the tree branches. Cars getting turned around, not realizing the entire road is blocked by a huge tree that nearly damaged multiple cars. But it didn't. Music to the ears of Ayla Espinoza. Hey, we've been running since 2013, baby. We in it for the long haul. <laughs> For lg and &E, it'll be a major restoration effort. More than 450 employees and contract line technicians working across our service area, as well as many, many employees working behind the scenes um, to restore customers' power safely and as quickly as possible. Espinoza says she was worried about the wind, but had no idea she would come outside to see this scene. And luckily, it looks much worse than it is. So she's... Very grateful because I was just talking about it yesterday. I still want, you know, two, three more years out of her. Southwest of here in the Jacobs neighborhood, several downed trees caused damage to homes. The roofs caved in. One large tree completely uprooted. Another snapped like a twig. Prime examples of just how strong the winds were. Thank you, Lord. Yes. That's all I can say. Belinda Quick's home was spared the worst of it, but she's glad that her neighbors were unharmed. I'm just thankful everybody got out safe. I mean, the house can be fixed, you know. Lives can. And both women urge everyone to be safe and watch out for downed power lines. Now, LG&E's focus has been on these 1,400 down power lines. They say that it may even grow larger. That means the restoration effort will be complicated. They urge you not to touch any of these down lines, even as the weather breaks and the sun comes out this weekend, because it can remain active four days. Now tomorrow at 1030, the mayor, emergency officials and lg &E are going to hold a press conference and give you updates and we'll give you updates on our air and online. But for now, I'm live in Old Louisville. Bobby McSwine, the WHAS 1119 on your side.